Census data show that on average, retired women are twice as likely to live below the poverty line. There are many obstacles that can hinder savings for retirement, but what can women do to combat these challenges? Here with more to break it all down for us is financial advisor from Egan Berger and Weiner LLC, Carmen M. Wu. Welcome back. This is sort of a sad topic to talk about, but we know that women are living longer and now they're living in poverty and below the poverty line in retirement. Tell us more about this. Yes, they are, which is sad. Um, and unfortunately, a true fact. The um, congressional uh, analysis of the 2012 census uh, basically showed that women ages 80, ages 65 and older are relying on a median income of $16,000 a year. <gasps> wow. And they rely. That's not enough to live on. No, at it's all. not. And they rely primarily on Social Security mm -hmm. for their income, and that's eleven thousand dollars less than the man their same age. Well, so their income is right around twenty-seven thousand dollars. Is it that women aren't planning ahead for this? Or is that the big problem that they're just not thinking ahead of time? They're not socking things away, or is it a, a bigger issue? Well, the planning definitely comes into uh, into effect. But I think that one of the things that they really need to to pay attention is the obstacles that they're facing. And there's three main obstacles that I would love to address sure, today. Please. And those three obstacles are basically the first is the fact that we do live longer. Mm -hmm. You know, women it, will outlive their their male spouses. Oh, absolutely, they will. And if you look at how long people are actually in retirement, um, the average American will spend about 30 years or more in retirement. Mm -hmm. And a couple, 65 or older, has a probability of living well into 50% um, chance of living into ages 92. And okay. a 21st. 25% chance of living up to age 97. Wow. The average female will outlive their the man in their life by about five years. Okay. So in, in 2011, 60% of individuals 80 and older mm -hmm. were women. Wow. So we're living a lot longer. Now, does Social Security benefits and how it's calculated, does that play a part into this at all? Oh, absolutely. Social Security is actually one of the areas which women are challenged, which is um, a second obstacle that they face. The average woman actually makes less than than your average male It's so sort does. of like it's a compounding issue. If you're not making as much early on, you can't put it away and then... Absolutely. You don't have it. So if you're not saving money, mm -hmm. one of the things that happens with Social Security is that how much you make during your lifetime impacts your Social Security benefit. Right. So on average, women do uh, stay out of the workforce for about 12 years. Mm -hmm. So if you're not working for 12 years, part of the calculation for Social Security is your highest 35 earning years before the age of 21. So people need to th not only think about these things ahead of time, but you know, think about your retirement in a very strategic way as opposed to like, I'm gonna retire on the beach and we're gonna live it out in the sunsets and whatnot. You have to be a little bit more strategic. You definitely thinking. have to be more strategic in thinking in terms of you know, the bottom line, are you planning or are you not planning for retirement? Okay, so let's say we are planning. Mm -hmm. Something that we do have to think about, especially us women who are living longer, is living in a nursing or a care facility because we're gonna need that support. So how do we factor that into our, our planning? Well, part of the thing that you have to take into consideration is, first of all, being aware mm -hmm. of what obstacles you're facing. Okay. And given the fact that women tend to outlive their spouse, and we outlive, outlive them for more than five years, then one of the things you have to take into consideration is, you know, will I go into a nursing home? Mm -hmm. And the likelihood of that happening is very high because women are actually going into nursing homes at the age of 80. Mm -hmm. or so right. and that's because their spouse is gone and now they need somebody to take care of them. In our last minutes as women are now thinking about these things where can they start planning? How, what's the best way to start in that good step forward to actually having a fun retirement? Well 
first of all, just being aware of the challenges that you face because women face the challenge of living longer, not earning enough income, and then on top of that, Social Security benefits are low. So if you're aware of these challenges and start planning ahead, having more conversation with your spouse and making sure that you're part of the financial planning in your home, that's mm -hmm. really where it starts. Act, take an active role Absolutely. and start the conversation. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Carmen Wood of Eganberger and Weiner for helping us think about those uncomfortable things, but starting the conversation early. Absolutely. Thanks. That helps. More Let's Talk Lives coming up. Stick with us right here.